Hey people, I hope you're doing super well. I hope my Lego addicts are all doing great and sticking to their budgets. <laughs> I thought I'd make this quick video because some parcels have arrived and I thought it'd be really fun to share. Now, some of these parcels I know what's in there and some of the other ones I don't. So I just wanted to share with you all. And after I've showed you what's in all of these lovely parcels, I'll probably do a quick Lego room update as well because a lot of things are moving and changing. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of quickly take you through. Maybe some of these things that I've ordered, especially this envelope, um, has, things for the has things for the city in there. So we'll place those and I will can take you along. I'm doing a lot of big movements today, but it's cool. So first up, um, the randomest purchase is this unicorn video figure. I wasn't originally gonna buy any of the video things, but now they're being reduced. I'm kind of like, well, for five pounds, I quite like them. Also, I didn't realize how many video tiles and actual like little bricks come with them as well. Basically, I'm saying I'm going to be buying the, the beatbox video figures if I can find them for five pounds. So I've bought this one and today I've placed the order for the punk pirate one, which is now also reduced to five pounds. But when they do hit five pounds, they do get sold out really quickly. So when you do find them for that price, I think you have to be pretty quick. Then first up, my first parcel. Da, 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 da. We've got two of these um, 16 by 16 plates. These, this is from a buying and selling group on Facebook because I tend to be part of those because they're really great for finding some random parts that you may not necessarily need but are really useful. So I am trying to collect as many of these plates as I can because I'm trying to convert some bits to the mills system. So these ones are super, super useful to kind of have as many of as I can so I can convert things. And then in the second bag, we have lots of fence pieces. Ooh, they're the white ones. Um, I quite like the white ones and I haven't actually used them in the city yet. Um, but I also have some black ones and some brown ones. And then I have some pillars because pillars always are useful. Some dark orange and some brown. They'll come in useful for all the Harry Potter things that I'm building. And also I need one for the brick bank still. Then I got lots of plant pieces because they're useful, but especially these two because I know I need one of those for one of the Harry Potter sets that I've got. And then I also got loads of these. I actually really like these plant pieces. Then I have a few of these lance pieces because, I don't know, they're kind of useful and they come. I'm missing them in a few of the Harry Potter sets, so I decided to pick those up. Basically, I got lots of little printed food items, including pizzas, cookies, and tacos, or whatever they are. I think... I think they're maybe just wraps, but they are so adorable. And I also got some bin bags, like canisters, trash cans, things for the city. So there we go. That's all the random stuff. So as I said, that comes from a Facebook marketplace group where I just kind of get random things because they're quite good value and stuff like that tends to come in handy. Next up, we have this envelope, which is my Bricklink order that I placed. So in here we have various things. So we have a hundred of the blue flowers. Then I got some windows and some trans blue tiles. And the windows are for a future project that I have most of the pieces for, just not the set that I'm modifying. So that will come later. I also have some missing pieces and other things that I was missing. I got some green bricks because I wanted to kind of add slightly more details to the canal, like greenery and things. I also got some things to create more of the bookshop trees because I really like the bookshop trees and they obviously go in my city but I don't have enough bits anymore to create more so that's I got more bits for that and then I also got a huge order of basically things for my new mill system and then also this type of fence because the shop I was ordering from had a lot of these black fence pieces and I actually really like this design. I think it's really, really sweet. So I decided to order as many as he had in stock and I'm gonna use that for my canal. And then again, here are some other bits for the trees in here as well. So lots of little random parts. And then last but not least, again, some random parts for some mocks and bits. So yeah, that was all the stuff from Bricklink. Now, next up is something really exciting. I received an envelope from the USA and there is some mystery things in here and I'm super excited to find out what's in here. So let's open it together, shall we? I like getting gifts, it's fun. Aww. Okay, first up, I actually have a similar one, but in 
um, in silver. So maybe I'll just keep this one until the other one wears out because I really like having a brick earring. They're so much fun. Then there is, ah, oh, it's the Shang-Chi, like give a purchase. I actually think that dragon's super cool. I can totally put him in the city and his minifigure is very, very awesome. I really like the torso detail on that. So that's really cool. And also there seems to be some sort of little card in here. And it is from Alyssa, who I did a Instagram live with. Oh gosh, that's so kind of her. It came all the way from America. That's just the most adorable thing. And then last but not least, we have something that I've purchased, so I know what this is, and I'm very excited to show you because I know there is a lot of people on this channel that like these kinds of purchases. So here goes, here goes. Because it's plastic, I'm just gonna rip it. Rah, rah. It's open. Do you know what it is? Can you guys guess? what it is. Let me reveal it to you. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the cool Lake Town set! <laughs> super 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 excited. Thank you so much for Felix for selling this to me because actually I think I can maybe mod these buildings and I'm kind of incorporate it into my dock area. So I'm super 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 excited. Also here are these stickers which aren't applied yet and the absolutely epic minifigures that come with this set and i forgot actually that i got some other things as well from him so here we go i got some random minifigures from him that i like the parts of so i have got this dude I, I got him because i liked his hat and torso and i thought i could maybe use him somewhere i got i'm gonna just get them all out I've got this dude because I liked his um, knight's thing and this face is quite useful because it's a child face that I'm l lacking. Oh my gosh, it's Vesuvius! Because I kind of wanted some Lego movie representation. So I'm going to add him to my minifig wall. And then I've got this boxer dude because, you know, CMFs. And I think he's cool. I got this forestry dude for um, a mate of mine. And then I got this lady who has foreign hair, I think. But I liked her face and her torso a cool golden hat and I got this one because I don't know I quite like the figure plus it's another hat and face for the scarecrow which I may be able to repurpose there is a president business god he's so cool I am president business <laughs> he's so cool oh my god and I also got this little dude because I have him but I don't have his accessory so I got him and I got another one of him so there you have it I again spent some money, but it was amazing. Thank you so very much for everybody that sent me things. Um, I am truly very excited for it. Right, so on to my city update, which I will switch to my other camera for. See you in a minute. So this is the state of the city right now. As you can see, I've already prepped the base plate for the police station modular to go on. Um, I just haven't had time to start building yet because it turns out doing YouTube and a full-time job and planning a wedding takes up a lot of time. <laughs> Who'd have thought? However, um, there is space for that and a little um, and for private drivers just there temporarily because I thought at least something is sitting there. But this is what I've decided on for the wall here. So obviously these were just placeholders because I had the other bricks on order, but I wanted I want some dark bluish grey tiles at the top because I thought that brings in this random colour in the middle and then I'm going to have those square fence bits there. I think that kind of visually extends the wall upwards so it's not going to be as random plus I didn't want to go for anything dark bluish grey or light bluish grey here because I thought that would make this not stand out as much so that's kind of the plan so I'll be adding those fence pieces that you've just seen now and let's have a look what it'll look like there you go so i now have all these things added to this modular system as i said before like i'm not doing mills in like the traditional sense it's basically just so i can describe quickly what i'm doing with like the high difference so all i'm using it to describe is that i'm putting on a plate and on the base plate and then having the plate on top and then i've also added all the pins um, here at the back so I can easily attach it. Obviously the distribution is slightly different because the plates on top are sort of random different lengths but you can also see that I've added the fences so let's put it in place and see what it looks like. So here is the fence that is going to sit in front. I actually really love this design um, and I think black works quite well for here 
so I only need two more of these to complete the project and then obviously I've not quite pinned it in yet because I need to take this out soon to build the police station and it's kind of a bit of a faff to disconnect them so I've kind of left that open for now but I think it's looking awesome obviously I'll be adding another tree I think as well but I will only start adding trees and details once the police station is in place because I think once that's in place I can really see where the trees are needed there you go Obviously there's a lot of focus on this area, but it's kind of really fun to work on a new type of city. So there we go, all nicely back in place. Here is the rest of the city, just chilling, being a little bit dusty, but I will put my hoover through it soon to kind of make sure it doesn't get too dusty. But all in all, good progress. Ladies and gentlemen, the shelf has been installed. Da da da, it is there. Time to move the castle. This big boy will go sit there. Let's do it. And it's now sitting there on top of the cabinet. I think it looks really good, but wait, wait a moment. Look at that. Wow. Like, it looks so good that I'm so happy. So hopefully people will be able to see it a little bit as well on my videos, but I think it sits really nicely there. I've just finished tiling the top of these. I actually found two more of these fences, so actually I have exactly enough for the whole fence, which is perfect. I think it's looking pretty nice. The only downside I think is that you can't really see like the tiles behind it and the people, but I think it's a good start. It doesn't really matter too much. As I teased before, this is only likely to be a temporary option because I think that's going to be some very big changes coming to the city early October. So there you have it. This is the state of the city currently, and here is the state of Diagon Alley currently. There's quite a lot of randos sitting on top because I need to find room on my board and I haven't got a lot of inverted slopes, so I'm just waiting for some more black inverted slopes so I can put all these minifigures on top. And I've also made a version of Ben ready for the wedding. I'm going to make a version of me as well, so we have our wedding minifigures ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that little update and tour. Um, that was definitely really fun to film. I loved all the things I got in the mail. So very exciting and I'm sure you'll be seeing them in the city and everything like that. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Maybe become a member and chat to me on Discord. That would be awesome. And I'll see you all very soon people. Bye!